Okay, uh, today I got something kind of different for you. Uh, I just picked this up off of eBay, um, not really knowing what it was, and I'm still not entirely sure. Um, like I said, I've been Googling and I can't really find much about it. Now, um, this is, uh, I saw the, on eBay, again, okay, it was all in French, so I didn't really look too hard, but the Jeanne d'Arc, um, Joan of Arc, and Falconetti. Now, Falconetti is my favorite actress. I made a few videos on the collection of hers, her paraphernalia and things I've gotten. Uh, in case you don't know, she was the star of this movie, um, The Passion of Jonah Arc. Uh, it's a silent film done in 1928 by Carl Dreyer. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, she's, like I said, I think this performance is fantastic. So my favorite actress. Everything about it um, was pretty fascinating. And uh, it's one of her really only film roles. I know she did, I think, one other one and maybe like a couple little bits on something. But this was pretty much the only thing she really was known for. But she was a theater actress. So I saw this. I saw, you know, Joan of Arc and Falconetti. And I thought this must be something about the movie. So I bought it. And uh, hang on, I'll show you the cover here. Uh, let's see. My French is atrocious, as in non-existent. But you can see it's from uh, December 8th, 1934. Um, it's the it's some, a theater magazine, La Petite Illustration uh, Review, and you see, so it looks like this actually is for a stage play, and it looks like it came out in 1934, and you can see Falconetti is Joan of Arc, see it right there, Get real close, so yeah, so it looks like she later on did a theater play of Joan of Arc, and this is the script. So you see like right here, I'll show you this too. Later on, I'll show you like the actual script on it. But yeah, so uh, looks like premiered November 21st, 1934 at Theater National to load in, load in, whatever. Uh, I'm sure anyone who actually speaks French knows I am slaughtering that and so I apologize. And it looks like these are some photographs from the actual stage play, like set. I don't know if these are like dress rehearsals or what this was, but as you can see, this all looked like photographs. So this should be all her playing in the actual play. So there's those. Now again, I picked this up on eBay. I think it only was for like twelve dollars here. I'm sure like the cast, the performers, and again, Joan and C. Um, Falcon Eddie. And so I didn't really know anything about it, but as you can see, like it has like, you know, scenes. And it's all the dialogue. Yeah, so I'll right down there. Again, everything's in French, so I don't really know much about it, but that's pretty much all it is. It's the entire script of like this stage play and a little form. So here, I'll show you the back on here. See, nothing really too fascinating. And again, if you really want to, like I said you can probably you know, translate this or have somebody who speaks French read it for you. But I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It kind of just shows, again, it looks like it's a theater play. And then here's some more pictures on the back cover here. And you can see this one reminds me a lot from like the dryer uh, film. This is the setting, the people, and it looks, you know, kind of similar to that. So I don't know how much of this was from the film, if this was like a separate play. Again, I don't really know. I said, and I've Googled it probably for like a good half hour now, and I still can't find anything about it. And I saw this. I thought this was really kind of a cool illustration. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, you see that? As uh, that's pretty cool. So again, I am what it, what again? What this appears like is that she went ahead and did a, a play, playing Joan of Arc again. Um, in France at this theater in 1934, and the movie came out, I think it was 28 or 29. So this would have been, you know, like five years later. So again, I don't know if this was like, just like a promotional thing, a one-timer, I have no idea. So if anybody knows, um, let me in, you know, on, it was this like a, like a special performance, was this something they're trying to cash in on because of the popularity, uh, some anniversary or something. I, again, I don't know, but if you do know, like I said, just let me know. But still, it's pretty cool. And if this was, like I said, like these, like I said, it looks like these are the actual pictures from the play. So it's kind of cool to see like their set design and their costuming. Here, I'll give you some good like in focus ones of these. Maybe here, I'll try and get the envelope in the back. Give it a little less. Sorry, probably getting, getting a little better look at them. 
But still, that's pretty cool to actually see the stage, you know, design, the stage setup, and the people in costume, and everything else. So, you know, that's pretty sweet. And again, it should be her. So these are probably, again, the only, this is probably the only magazine you're going to see these pictures from. So let me do these ones too. So yeah, so again, it's something to kind of get in a whim. Uh, I try and, you know, look on eBay from time to time to see what kind of stuff of hers there is out there. Um, I haven't found a lot lately, and the stuff I have found usually is pretty expensive. Like I said, I think I paid like 12 bucks for this one. But uh, yeah, kind of a fascinating thing. Another thing to add to the collection. Um, and yeah, like I said, and if you know anything about this, let me know. Um, just comments or whatever. And uh, I'd appreciate it. But otherwise, uh, just another piece to add to the collection. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.